In this video tutorial, you'll see how easy it is to configure snapshots in the portal so you can quickly review key financial information and drill down to underlining reports. Snapshots appear on the Home tab of the portal and allow you to view business information for modules that you are authorized to use. They include a title that you can change, a snapshot menu, a link to a help topic, and buttons that you can use to minimize, restore, or close the snapshot. In the body of the snapshot, you'll see information about your business. You can easily customize the snapshot to show the exact information you need. And from the general ledger, age payables, and age receivable snapshots, you can also drill down to underlining financial reports. Let's take a closer look at the Aged Receivable Snapshot, which shows a bar graph of outstanding receivables for a given date. This snapshot highlights potential cash flow issues and collection problems. You can click the total to open the Aged Receivables report from the snapshot. On the snapshot menu, Click Configure to see options and filters that you can use to configure a snapshot so it shows the information you need. You'll see different options and filters depending on the snapshot you're using. For example, say you're a controller, accounting manager, or accounts receivable clerk, and you need to review outstanding balances for your retail and wholesale sales groups. This will help you instantly gauge the outstanding balance for each group and contact account managers if you identify any collection issues. On the Options tab, you can age outstanding balances by document dates or by due dates. The aging period specified on the AR Options screen appear as defaults, but you can change them for a particular snapshot. On the Filters tab, you can choose whether to report on all transactions or only on specific types of transactions. By applying filters, you can focus the snapshot on key problem areas. For example, you can show only invoices for a particular custom group, such as the retail sales group. To set up additional criteria, Click Add a Filter, and then make a selection from the available options. For example, you could also filter invoices by a range of customer numbers, or by account set, salesperson, territory, terms code, or national account. Click Save to save your settings and update the snapshot. This snapshot will now show current information about age receivables for the retail sales group each time you sign into the portal. You can also refresh the snapshot at any time to update its content. Because you can have multiple age receivable snapshots that use different settings, it's a good idea to rename snapshots as you customize their settings. To rename this one, click Edit Title on the Snapshot menu and then type the new name. Let's create another age receivable snapshot. This time, you want to view age receivables for the wholesale sales group. To start, click Add Snapshot. and add another copy of the age receivable snapshot. On the snapshot menu, click Configure.
You can view invoices only. And create a customer group filter to show invoices for the wholesale sales group. When you're done, click Save. And the snapshot is updated on your home page. You can also rename the snapshot to reflect its new content. This time, instead of using the snapshot menu, try double-clicking the title bar to edit the name. Whenever you log into the portal or refresh the snapshots, you'll see current information about age receivables for your retail and wholesale sales groups. Mm -hmm.